Do you all remember how much of a powerhouse Warner Brothers was? From 2001 to 2012, these guys had hit after hit after hit, and they had one of the most successful, long-lasting franchises of the entire decade being the Harry Potter franchise, with Harry Potter Deathly Hallows Part Two being one of the highest grossing films of all time, also marking the end of people lining up outside of theaters because very shortly afterwards, we would have the buy your seat system. I know there are some traditional theaters that still do the same thing, but that entire way of going to the movie theater ended with that film. And then obviously, of course, Christopher Nolan, not only banging out the Dark Knight trilogy, which came to an end in 2012, but also every other project that he had made for them. And then also, technically speaking, they had had those side residuals from The Lord of the Rings and they were making the Hobbit trilogy. That's where it all started to go weird. That was when Warner Brothers slowly started to pull an Uno reverse on themselves. I had originally said it started with Man of Steel, but really truly it started with The Unexpected Journey. They would slowly, completely upend themselves. And now the fact that they are not saved by the Discovery purchase, but now they are looking at merging with Paramount? It's like, what the fuck happened to this company? There's a lot of things you could point it out to, just how everything with the DCEU is handled, from the absolute moronic producers attached on that, to the complete mishandling of that entire property. They're trying to catch up to Marvel in less than a quarter of the time. Then you can also say about other projects with the Fantastic Beasts. They had a lucky one with the first movie, but then they're like, hey, you know what? You know that thing that everyone is saying that we shouldn't do, making this entire series about Newt Scamander? Let's fully dive into that. And oh, hey, let's let JK keep writing without any kind of outside assistance because she wouldn't break her own lore. It's not like she hasn't been doing that on Twitter for the last few years. Every decision that Warner Brothers made in the last decade, from 2023 to 2013, was just a slow demise of their own brand. Every franchise they had fell apart. Every long-standing IP they had fell apart, except for one. It was when I saw the trailer for the new Godzilla and King Kong movie that I realized the MonsterVerse, technically speaking, has not dropped in quality. It was never exceedingly good in the first place, my opinion being that the best one is still Kong Skull Island. But that series is still going. King Kong vs. Godzilla was one of the most successful movies in theaters in 2021. The fact that that film was that successful proved a few things. Just like how Universal has been able to make a billion dollars with each of the crappy Jurassic World movies, audiences will go out to see a movie like this when it's big, dumb, and fun. It's gotta still be fun and still gotta be good for the most part. The fact that this monster series is still going. Obviously, of course, it does have established characters and icons of film already attached. This is the new version of Godzilla that was already well, well, well established by Toho. King Kong has been around since the 30s. But the fact that this series is Warner Brothers still consistent moneymaker and as well as number bringer blows my mind. They fucked up the DC movie slate to now where they're rebooting it and we'll have to still see if that turns out well. I like James Gunn's writing, I like his directing style, but I, I don't know personally. I think that they have betrayed so many people's trust that they just won't want to see a DC movie. The Fantastic Beast series is all but dead. They don't have the residuals to make the fourth and fifth movie. And on top of that, they're making a Harry Potter series for HBO Max or Max. That is its own kind of, uh, I don't know, it, it's still too soon in my opinion, but they want money. I am just kind of blown away that this is the one thing that WB hasn't fucked up yet. Even though they haven't had a consistent character, no one from the first Godzilla movies in this one. No one from Godzilla King of Monsters is in this one. The only ones that I can see that are returning are Rebecca Hall and the little deaf girl from the, the last one. It's gonna have Dan Stevens in it, which is a trademark of Adam Wingard. Oh well, yeah, actually speaking of which, Adam Wingard, he's the first director to direct more than one of these movies. Hey, the guy who made some 
average to shitty horror movies has gotten a pretty good gig. For clarity, I actually really like The Guest, and I thought Your Next is pretty decent too. Yeah, but that's just a random line of thought I just had. It's kind of crazy when you think about it, because holy shit, they fucked up a lot. Oh yeah, Jesus, I didn't even talk about the fact that they lost Christopher Nolan when they did what they did with Dune and all their other lineups saying that it was going to come out on both HBO Max and theaters at the same time, they lost their main fucking moneymaker. Sure, Tenant was not that good. I think in hindsight, they did really see that that one wasn't going to be the big woo that Nolan always made. But hey, you know what? He then went on to make Oppenheimer, which is probably going to be the movie that finally nets him that Oscar. Anyways, guys, that was just my train of thought. Curious to see what you guys think about it. What do you guys think about what's happened with Warner Brothers over the last 10 years? Do you guys think that the 2010 era was the good old days for them? That span of time, 2001 to 2012, was just like the fucking money maker for them? Like, they made so many good movies in that time? Or am I out to lunch? Let me know in the comments below. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more random, weird conversation topics like this, hit subscribe, and we'll see what we talk about next. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. See you guys next time.